There are super SUVs, super sport SUVs, and now we've got the hyper SUV. 700 horsepower, over 310 kilometers an hour, zero to 100 in 3.3 seconds. In a world when there's SUVs with Rolls-Royce and Bentley badges, this Aston Martin DBX 707 just isn't over the top, it's out of this world. We're not even gonna try and pretend this is a proper review of the DBX 707. Sure, we've driven it on the road for a few kilometers, but this is all about experiencing the Aston's otherworldly performance. An SUV on the racetrack? Yep, not what you'd expect. But apparently, it works for F1, so go figure. Keen race watchers will know a standard Aston DBX is one of the F1 medical cars. Me? Well, I'm still asking myself the question why anyone would need a 700 horsepower soft rotor. Anyway, let's get one very big number out of the way so I can forget it before I get serious with the driver stuff. This car has an as-tested price north of $520,000. Even the base 707 is $428,000. That's around 70k or so more than the standard bargain basement DBX. These dollars buy you an extra 115 kilowatts and 200 newton meters over the standard car and a whole mess of other powertrain, chassis, brake and bodywork upgrades. The basic building blocks don't change. They're simply turned up, right up. The 707 is still all wheel drive. Up there at the pointy end, an AMG source twin turbo four liter V8. But there are new turbos, a new gearbox, smarter diff, and a step change in braking and aerodynamics. In hard numbers, this translates to supercar rivaling straight line performance. Zero to 103.3 seconds, Aston reckons sub three is possible. Zero to 200 in under eight seconds, closer to seven, say insiders. On the top whack of 310, well, that's conservative too. For the record, Aston claims the 707 is the fastest, most powerful, and best handling SUV in the world. As we film this, an uprated Lamborghini Urus is about to be launched, and that could upset Aston's apple cart. And let's not even mention the upcoming Ferrari four-wheeler. Right now, we'll have to take the top speed on merit. But I can tell you, even after just a couple of laps here of the Phillip Island circuit, the handling, the braking, and the overall performance is more supercar than super SUV. The DBX 707, we just came up the Honda corner here and hard on the brakes. It does things that really an SUV shouldn't be able to do. The racetrack is not the natural habitat of these big soft roaders. They're good for the dual run, they're good for long distance touring, but this one adds another dimension to that and it does so not like a, a blunt heavy instrument. It's remarkably precise, there's really good steering feel and actually the precision that you can put this big 2300 kilo beast to still surprises me. I'm sure if it was drier and we could go even harder, we'd probably start to find a few little parts of the story that aren't perhaps quite as cohesive, but gee, on this damp, slippery, but still very, very fast Phillip Island circuit, the DBX does things it shouldn't be able to do. What do I like about it? All those things. I like the fact that you've got a wonderful V8 soundtrack. And I guess the civility of it on the road, it's firm, perhaps a touch too firm, but really, really quiet, really, really refined. And ultimately that's what the people who are buying this vehicle are gonna want. Are they going to bring it to the racetrack? 
highly unlikely, but in Europe, the market's perhaps not like our market. They're going to use it to drive all day at high speed on an autobahn, maybe cross an alpine pass, and it's going to do both of those things with real aplomb. So I think given Australia loves performance, loves big V8s, and loves SUVs, Aston are going to sell every one they can build. Ultimately, the level of any supercar's performance is arbitrary in the real world. And that goes whether it's a track-ready sports car or a massively muscled-up SUV like this one. It's eye-opening, it's impressive, and to an extent, it's addictive. But short of getting the F1 medical team to the scene of a racetrack incident even faster, I'm still not sure why the DBX 707 really exists. But the petrol head in me is still glad it does.